Hi, I'm Marcela Piavela, Wills Practitioner at Forest Wills and Estate Planning. This is Cradle to Grave Estate Planning in a Nutshell. A minute of estate planning can uh, change yours and your loved one's uh, lives. We are in the middle of a global pandemic and the current situation has made us think and reflect about our lives, about how we plan and prepare for uh, those eventualities. And within this framework, uh, estate planning is uh, no doubt an important tool that help us uh, prepare for the future. So estate planning is very much concerned with the cycle of life. And within that cycle, there are four certainties, which include birth, illnesses from ailments to more severe uh, medical conditions. We will age, uh, get older at, as time uh, passes by, and eventually we will die. We will perish in the form that we currently exist. Within that cycle of life, there will be a circle of relationship and uh, with other people that will include family and friends, uh, etc. And also uh, there will be uh, possessions, uh, the material world that we live in, those uh, assets that we uh, accumulate in our lives. So estate planning is concerned uh, about how we take care of that circle of people and that uh, circle of material possessions. So in relation to the circle of people, which in light of COVID, uh, I would call it a bubble of people, as we grow up, we normally go to school to receive some uh, sort of education. And we are likely to meet there our friends, first group of friends. And we start building up that circle of people beyond our family from a very young age. Later on, we uh, may fall in love uh, with someone. And while things are rosy, we may consider moving together. Perhaps we may contemplate getting married or enter a civil partnership, uh, whatever your circumstances. And also, uh, while things are uh, going well and you're blissfully happy together, you may decide to have uh, children. That circle of people grows uh, to include, uh, obviously, your own family, uh, your in-laws, your friends, etc. So after all that very hard work, you may decide to go to have some fun and go to uh, a disco for a night, perhaps two. So in the second circle, sit our possessions, the material well we create. And following the theme, we shall call it the property bubble. So after that brilliant education you receive, you're likely to go for a job interview. And you stand out amongst a crowd of candidates and receive the job offer. You start your first employment, things go well, and you eventually get promoted. Your salary increases, and now you decide that you have enough to make some savings. So savings do well, and after a while you've got enough money in the bank to pay for a deposit for a house. So you consult with a mortgage advisor and it gets uh, they get you a very good deal. You go ahead and buy your first property. So you've been in that job for a while and the same company, you now decide to pursue a childhood dream of setting up your own business. You love children, so you ponder different, several options, but decide to go ahead with setting up your bouncy castle business, which uh, does really well. Your business uh, flourishes, you're now able to make some investments. You consult with your financial advisor, they get, they get you uh, they're very good investments with good returns. And now you decide to buy your sailing boat to pursue your hobby of sailing along, you know, uh, all those areas that you love. 
So after a while, you're very lucky person, you receive a phone call to say that you received, uh, you are the beneficiary of the will of your uh, auntie who had uh, have died. And that couple with a pension drawdown uh, uh, mean that it means that your um, the circle of sessions have now uh, increased exponentially. So as we said earlier, eventuality took care and on the way back home after a friendly night out, your friends, having had a, a, a drink or two too many, you have a car accident. You receive first aid treatment on site and make full recovery soon after in hospital. However, you realize that you are human and fallible after all, and uh, come up with a brilliant idea that you start thinking about protecting uh, the people that you love, protecting your assets, uh, rather than leave it all to chance or leave it too late before things uh, get a bit tangled. So after that car accident, you um, not only contemplate that one day you may uh, lose your memory and you need to protect your business, uh, your property, and also start thinking about what happened to your family if you can't manage your affairs, but also you think about your own death and start contemplating about what will happen to the people you love and the material possessions uh, that you need to protect. So for instance, your children may still be uh, too young to receive inheritance. Also, uh, beneficiaries may be not so wise uh, with money uh, as you are. Uh, they may get bankrupt. Uh, so what will happen to your money will go to um, your uh, children's creditors. Also, um, what happen if they get divorced? Um, your inheritance will go into uh, split into divorce proceedings. You think about your partner, spouse or civil partner, whether uh, they may have a conditioned, uh, medical condition, uh, making them unable to manage their uh, inheritance. And what happens if they suffer with a disability and they need to be taken care of? So uh, they may go into care later on in life. And so those uh, uh, aspects of estate planning, you start considering putting in place lasting powers of attorney, uh, trust to protect assets uh, for future generations. Also, obviously, uh, writing your will to make sure that uh, all is taken care of and uh, planning as well for your death for instance, with a, a prepay uh, funeral plan. So those uh, aspects of estate planning uh, all of a sudden start uh, making uh, sense and you start taking action sooner rather than later because you see the importance of doing so. So while you're still thinking about it, um, you suddenly realise that uh, planning for those rainy days has in fact many layers and that it's better to start on a clear sunny day before that area above your shoulders start getting a bit cloudier. So that's cradle to grave estate planning in a nutshell and the rest I leave it to your imagination. Can you see the woods for the trees? Thank you for listening.